सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक विद एन अनदर वीडियो ऑफ सेल्स फॉर्स गिक चैनल एंड इफ यू आर अ न्यू ट्रेल ब्लेजर देन दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू बिकॉज यू क्लिक ऑन दिस वीडियो टू नो हाउ यू कैन रजिस्टर फॉर सेल्स फॉर सर्टिफिकेशन एग्जाम एंड ऑन विच वेबसाइट यू नीड टू रजिस्टर राइट एंड हाउ यू नीड टू क्रिएट अकाउंट ऑन दैट वेबसाइट सो विदाउट एनी डिले इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर ईच एंड एवरी थिंग अबाउट हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अकाउंट ऑन विच वेबसाइट यू नीड टू क्रिएट एन अकाउंट राइट सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो इन ऑर्डर टू रजिस्टर फॉर सेल्स फॉर सर्टिफिकेशन एग्जाम यू नीड टू विजिट दिस वेबसाइट कॉल्ड वेब असेसर एंड देन यू नीड टू सिंपली टाइप सेल्स फोर्स एंड hit enter so on to the first result you will see website called webassessor.com just click on it and after this you will see this kind of interface so now as you are a new trailblazer right so you need to create an account first so you will see there is a button called create new account just click on the link or button whatever it is i think it is a link so now you will see this form right and you need to fill this form in order to create account so in this video i am going to create account for one of my friend he is a new trailblazer and he doesn't have any sales force certification and neither the web assessor account in order to register for sales force exam right your username should be uh, in terms of email like similarly as we have for the developer org right we need to enter a uh, email like username so similarly here is the thing but for the simplicity just use your email as your login so simply i am going to provide the email id here shivang.tomar111 @gmail.com now after this you need to provide a password so i am going to create a password for him later he can change his password so you don't need to worry about like i know his password although he is my friend but don't share your password with anyone so now uh, you need to provide the legal name which uh, name uh, will be displayed on your documents right so i am going to type shivang tomar here and why legal name because uh, let's say right now you can give sales for certification exam online but let's say you opt for the offline method where you need to visit a institute or a computer center right that's where for the verification they check your detail so that's why they are uh, asking for your legal name now email address so similarly as we entered email id on to the web assessor login similarly i am going to provide it here after this primary phone so i am going to provide his uh, mobile number so i am going to like hide these details because these are personal so i hope you understand so you just need to provide your simple details over there now you need to provide your address one now you need to type city and state okay so right now you can see in state you are seeing united state state so first you need to change the country here select india and after that you can select your states so uttar pradesh in my case you need to simply type postal code again and now you will see email address associated with your salesforce account so just provide the name uh, which you usually used for creating developer account or if you have a salesforce account on yourself right so you need to simply type over there now you will see company name so if you are a student right simply enter your college uh, name over there so as shivang is in in a company now uh, but he is a beginner right so he is going to provide the company name and daysworks is the company name and after this your name as you would like to appear on your certificate so i am going to provide shivang after this r u a right so i am going to click on this here you will see three option sfdc employee sfdc customer sfdc partner and this is the first thing where people get confused okay which option we need to select so see here as daysworks is a partner company with salesforce right so shivang need to select sfdc partner but let's say if shivang is in college or student so he need to select sfdc customer and for what sfdc employees so the main salesforce company those employees which are working for the salesforce right they need to select sfdc employee over there but now as daysworks is a partner with salesforce right so we are going to select sfdc partner here now you will see verification opt in now what is verification opt in 
so as you see that previous video i created where you can verify your credentials right so if you select yes here your certificate will be publicly available where anyone can verify your credentials right so if you want to allow them to verify your cert uh, certifications publicly you can simply select yes and if you don't want to uh, public make your certification publicly available you simply select no so yeah we are going to select our salesforce certification as public because you achieve something so why not you make it public right so there is no point to uh, hide your salesforce certification it's a matter of sharing that you have such knowledge what are certification certification are just a validation that you hold this type of knowledge right simply uh, select yes now you, it will say your role focus primarily on which sector so you will select private right but again if you are in a let's say government job simply type public government related but again i don't think so any government employee going to uh, do this so just select a uh, private over there and click save so now you will see this kind of interface where there is a message thank you for creating a new can uh, candidate account you will receive an email confirming your username and password so simply that means our account is created now i am going to click on login and simply i am going to select uh, shivang details and click on login again so once you logged in into your uh, web assessor account you will see this kind of interface so as you are a first uh, time visitor to this website you need to click on agree so here are some exam uh, violation uh, rules which you need to follow or terms and condition basically so which uh, i'm you can read it i'm simply going to click on agree because i already know about this right so after this you will see uh, the screen will be looked like this there are some links and other things so first of all you will see my assessment now what is my assessment uh, once you register a sales exam right all the detail of your salesforce exams will be displayed here yeah you, uh, the failed exam status will be also displayed like okay you failed in this exam and you cleared this exam right so all the things will be displayed over here all the scheduled exams will be displayed over there right each and everything will be displayed after this uh, how you can register for sales for certification exam you need to click on register for an exam so as you are a beginner probably you are going to take the associate or uh, certification exam which is the newest one or let's say admin one so i'm just going to show you a demo how you can register for an exam right so you need to click on associate exam right so here you will see sales for certified associate once you click on this plus button you will see two option whether you are going to choose the online mode or on-site mode on-site means you need to visit a particular center and then give your salesforce exam online is basically you can give at your home so let's say i'm going to select for online proctored and click on registered now after this you need to select a date so let's say i'm going to select any date which is available so let's say i'm going to select sunday 23 and in the right hand side you can select your time so let's say I'm going to select uh, 2.30 p.m. And here you need to click on this checkbox and I'm going to click on select. So now if you have any kind of voucher or something, right, what you can do, you can simply apply here. And once you click on submit, the voucher will be applied to your sales for certification exam and your fees will be reduced accordingly so right now i'm not going to register for an exam because otherwise it will cost 88.50 dollar to me or or shivang basically so we are not going to register uh, this is just to show you how you can register for salesforce exam so this is the same method which you can uh, use for any exam let's say you want to go for app builder you want to go for uh, platform developer one whatever the certification exam you are going to take right the process is same but you need to make sure whether you are going to select online or on-site. That's the crucial step because once you made the payment, I think it's kind of, uh, it's not possible to like change your uh, mode from offline to online, right? So choose appropriately. One more thing which I want to show you, let's say you are working in a company and you're going, your company is going to reimburse uh, your sales for certification and you need to show the receipt of your sales for certification exam. So you need to click on receipts over there so that you can share these receipts with your company in order to uh, get the uh, amount from your company back so here you can like uh, find the 
transaction detail each and everything and simply you can get a printout but right now as we don't register for any sales for certification so you will not get any so that's it for this video i hope you like this video and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you so much